All right, you guys, welcome back. Today, what I'm going to be doing, and I already got a little bit of a head start on it, is I'm going to be taking a look at the Tato Master of Weapons PCB Arcade. And it's, uh, it's a B system right there. And I went online and I saw a little bit of uh, information on it. I could take uh, these ROMs out of here and swap it with a few other games that they have online here I already had removed this ROM here it's a it was labeled B72 3 and what I did was hook it into my GX-4 true USB universal programmer and there's the ROM right there and it is a focus here it is a m5m27c 101 chip so I inputted that into the uh, device and I read the uh, the data off of it and this is what I got if I go to code so here's the code of that one particular ROM chip there it is all there just to quickly skim through it and what I did was I went to uh, file, save as, B7203 to master a weapons folder. I'm just going to cancel because I already did copy this. And if I go down here, there's the master of weapons and the file ROM that I copied. So I just basically dumped the um, ROM onto my computer. I'm going to dump all the ROMs individually and save them on my computer before I do a little bit of um, burning another ROM, or, uh, ROM set off of uh, my MAME and what I'm thinking I'm going I'm probably gonna go with uh, Rastan Saga 2 so yeah you guys I'm gonna stop it here and uh, quickly do some other things here alright guys so now let's go ahead and uh, work on the uh, next chip here. This will be uh, B7204. And they're on there pretty tight, so I'm taking a screwdriver and just uh, moving it back and forth here on the pins. So here's the chip extracted B7204. It's an EPOM. And now let's take a, a programmer and take out this chip, B7203, and throw in the B7204, close the zip socket, <coughs> and it's the same thing, so I'm going to press read, it's going to read the chip. The code looks, still looks the same, but you never know, like... Still might be good here. Same type of chip. So what we'll do now is we'll save this as B seventy two dash zero four and save it. Alright, so it should be saved. So now let's take that chip out and go ahead and grab this part of the video I'll speed up so it doesn't have to be bored. Okay, speeding up going right now. Okay, so now that that was sped up a little bit, I'm going to take the B7206, put it in the zip socket, lock it, and read it. Okay, so that was Zerd. That was actually, I didn't have my, you know, camera pointed down, me removing the, uh, the 
eat problems from the circuit board itself. So, oh well. So let's go ahead and save that one as B72-06. And, oh, 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 oh. save. B72-06. And save. Okay, so it's saved. Let's check to see if it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Okay. And we're going to take out the B72, yeah. So now let's take the chip out and throw in B7211. And click read. So it's reading. And it's done. File, save as B72 11. And save. Alright, so that's all saved. Let's go back the chip reader itself what I'm doing all right so I successfully dumped four of these ROMs here um, not too sure what this one is B7207 it says it's IC30 27512 which it is a 27C512 so let's let's look that up in the device manager here Device, device list and it looks like it's a Texas instrument but we'll type in 27 C 512 27 C 512 and here it is right here so I'll select it no adapter required for this chip so that's good Let's go down to the PCB and remove this chip here. Don't really like doing that. But. So here's the chip extracted. The PCB aside, here's the chip here. It said Texas Instruments 25C512. Well, let's get the reader and put the chip. Close the zip socket. Change it back up here. Oh boy, that's a pain. And click read. So it's reading a 27C512. It's read. Check the code. Looks good. Okay. And we want to save as B72 dash. Zero seven. So that's the five ROMs that I've just read here and copied and saved. So next, what I want to do is um, erase them. So let's go back down here. I'd like to erase them and uh, my EEPROM eraser. Let's put this aside. Put that aside. So here's uh, my EEPROM eraser. I got it from uh, uh, M MCU Mall, something like that. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, MCU Mall Electronics.com, and they're based in Vancouver. So. I got this, and you put your EEPROMs in there, like that. Of course, take the sticker off, just put them straight, turn it on, blah, blah, blah. I'll be able to change the ROMs out. And also what I got from MCU Mall Electronics was uh, the 16-bit uh, adapter. It's a 054 adapter for 16-bit 
chips like uh, let's say this uh, Sega game for instance. It's a 27C401. Okay, I got that. The EPROM eraser and the uh, GQ4X in a big bundle cost me about 220 Canadian, so that's not too bad. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to end it there, and uh, part two, like I said, I'm going to erase these ROMs, and hopefully install a new game on the B-System board here, B-System Tato board. So I got yeah, so from the the B system Tato board, I ran out of film there, so I had to press play. So yeah, you guys, that's what I'm going to do is uh, erase these chips here, and hopefully put on Rastan Saga 2 or Saga 2 onto the ROMs. I put this back on here. I thought that I hadn't removed it in the video. So yeah, so these five ROMs here. That's what I'm going to mess with. Try copy uh, Rastan Saga 2. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to end part 1 there. And work on part 2, which would be... <laughs> which would be... Uh, me copying those ROMs. And burning them. Alright, you guys. Have a good one.